Hi guys, this is uh, a little kiln that I built for fusing small glass panels and um, it works very well for that but uh, I wanted to use it for annealing uh, beads and uh, it's not very convenient because you see the door opens on the left hand side here and I have to pop the whole mandrel in which is a little inconvenient as uh, so if I want to get them out uh, whilst they're still hard I've got to do it with the pliers but uh, what I've done is I've taken the door off and I've uh, cut it into two and I've uh, fixed it up so as now instead of opening um, sideways like a conventional door I've arranged for it to uh, to lift up and uh, so you can see this is where I've cut the door there and I've put this mechanism on it um, so that the uh, the door lifts up and what it does it takes the hot face and keeps it facing away from you and that's the sort of door that I would have built on a, an industrial um, uh, oven if I was making something like this um, but uh, it's very convenient as it uh, it opens fully actually the full width of the uh, I've got some beads in there annealing so uh, um, temperature controller will be going crazy um, but anyway I just thought you might find that interesting it's just a different way of, of doing something um, I've got it uh, propped up at the front uh, at the moment so that the mandrels are horizontal whilst they're on their little rack um, but when I want to use it as a conventional um, uh, kiln then uh, I just scoop out those blocks um, that's lowered the whole thing and now the rods are pointing slightly downhill but that's that's not a problem or the mandrels I should say um, uh, but um, now the, uh, the bed of the kiln is horizontal so for glass fusing that's fine as you can see here I've just got it gently warming up but uh, from the side uh, there I can lock it in the open position uh, but most of the time it's just uh, a case of opening it up and uh, popping the mandrel in. As you can see this is cooled right down now. Um, oh, what I didn't say, uh, this uh, white fluffy material, this is KO wool, it's a high temperature ceramic blanket and here I've got a mixture of uh, 2.4 millimeter mandrels and a, a six mil mandrel there but this stuff you see it'll comply uh, around whatever you put in it and, and seal which is uh, rather nice and um, uh, that's what I've been messing about at today there still getting to, uh, to grips with these things but uh, uh, it's it's a bit of fun, something completely different. But, uh, that one come off the mantle while I was working it. Anyway, uh, I hope you found that interesting, uh, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.